All right, so I'm back at the fan storage. I only found these pieces for the shelf, so I'm gonna actually put this one together completely instead of the smaller one because this one I can put more stuff on, so obviously this will be a better one to put together completely first. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove this portion, all the stuff off of it, and raise it so I can add the two more shelves that go to this. So now let me go ahead and start assembling it completely so that way I can put more stuff on it. All right, so I went home and got the remaining parts of the third shelf so that way I can fully assemble it. So this one I've been trying to get to run. I already have it plugged in and such. But um, I noticed it wasn't working and I tried to troubleshoot and I figured out what it is. I thought that the square thing wasn't connecting properly with that, but I noticed that the black wire that's coming out of it that's separated from the pull chain, so it's not drawing any power to the fan. So it's got to reconnect it and then I'll get this fan running. All right, so I got it running now. So basically the, what the idea is, whichever area I'm working in, I'm going to have that fan on while the other three remain off until I can get another power source I can run all of them together. All right, as you can see, it is completely assembled. I was unable to find the portion that holds this corner but just looking at it, it does seem that it won't give out if I ha have some top of it. But um, it's definitely in here somewhere. I just don't know where it is at the moment, but I figured I'd put the board on here anyways just so it's out of the way. I mean, if it was one of the longer sides like this that was missing instead of the corner ones, and that'd be a different story. But I'm not really too worried about it. I don't think I'm going to be putting too much on this side anyways because it's closer to the entrance door and such. But um, yeah. But yeah, now with that shelf completely assembled, I'm gonna go ahead and start putting some more stuff on it, and that way I can clear out this bottom area a bit. So I went ahead and bought these LED light bars at Target, since I was getting some stuff there for the, the apartment. I figured these would be good to light up the center area, like the actual ceiling portion, so I can actually have light on the ground. Because when the, um, Light in the hallway goes off from not sensing anything after a little while. Those little lights on the shelves aren't that good. And also, I figured I'd use something that lights up the space itself. Instead of relying on those little ones to light it up. So that way I can save the battery and nose for like lining up just the shelf portion in, in general. But yeah, I figure I'm just going to hang them up. Or stick them on those metal bars there. And such. One more so like right here. And maybe one like right there. So yeah, I'll pick it up in a little bit. All right, so I have the lights put up now. And they definitely light up the space pretty well, a lot better than I thought they would. I got these at Target, but I actually might have to go back to get another one. I only had one of them that day. So I might put like a second one right there and right there. I'm not 100% sure yet. I might, I might not. But I really do like how well they light up the space. I might just stick with these two, but who knows, but... Yeah, and they're kind of like those ones you can use for like under a kitchen counter to light up like the sink area or something. And they fed, they come with this remote, I can turn them on and off. It's definitely handy. There is a setting where you can have it with the remote and then it's the regular on and off switch. Obviously in this case, I'm just going to be relying on a remote. But yeah, they definitely do pretty well. In fact, I actually might consider putting a one like right there and another one right there that way it kind of lights up the top shelves a little bit because these small lights don't do too well with that and sometimes they fall off like that one has there which is kind of an issue i've been noticing with these so i might just rewind these and kind of rewind those ones to light up the back portions of the shelves and such but um yeah definitely a good investment a little bit on the price side they're like 20 bucks but i mean They'll definitely do the job for what I needed to do, without a question. I mean, they are battery operated, so I don't have to worry about them. Like, once they burn out, they're not good no more. I can just replace the batteries. But um, they definitely do light up space pretty well. Almost not as well as the basement did, but I mean, for what I need them to do, they definitely will do the job for the question. So, um, yeah, now I have more lighting in the basement, and I can weave these on when I'm working on stuff and not worry about being in the dark when the lights in the hallway shut off, which was the biggest issue, which is the reason why I got these. So, um, yeah. Now that I have more lighting here to work with, I'm gonna start sorting this stuff. 
I figured out what I'd do with these fans is have cords hanging from them like this for each one and power them up that way. Uh, I still need to get cords for these three because when I went to buy the cords, I would have bought them all the same day, but they only had one like this at the Ace Hardware. So I'm just waiting for them to get more of them and then I'll buy three more for the other fans. But in the meantime, if I do need to power up one of the other ones, I can always just disconnect that plug from this one and attach it to another one to run it in the meantime. At the same time, it might be a good idea just to try out all four of them just to see now if they work right away. Plug didn't come out. When I had them at the apartment, I actually didn't even test them to see if they had any issues after getting them. So I know this one works now to try out the other three to see if they run fine as well. I figured I'd take this moment to show how well these lights actually light up the room. Now that the lights in the hallway shut off due to not sensing any motion in the hallway itself. I mean, I could even just keep working like this without having to go in the hallway to have it turn back on again because it actually does light up the room pretty well. Oh, oh, considering. But, um, yeah, for 20, 20 to 25 bucks, definitely there's a lot more than I expected them to. So I'm really actually happy with this purchase. Or energize the lights like our target so yeah for 25 bucks it's definitely it's a good solution for what i need them to do but um, let me go back in the hallway so i can just actually get it turned back on and such but i think i'd show this from here just to show how well they actually light up the room but yeah now i have to light back on um i'm gonna be unboxing this with all the glassware, putting them on this shelf here, or actually the top one instead. And that, I'm probably gonna be using this top shelf for all my glassware and such. Or maybe down there, I'm not sure one of the two, but I'm gonna probably be using this top shelf for glassware, maybe motors, but um, I'll figure it out once I start getting more stuff onto these shelves. All right, so I got all the glassware out of this, that box and Put them on this top shelf. I actually had no idea what how many glassware was in there because my mom and um the other people that are helping us move the stuff over here, they were the ones that put it in there. Thankfully, they put them in there pretty well, and that none of these ones here got damaged or broken during the move. Unfortunately, though, they since they did put a lot more than they should have in there, one of them did not survive the move. But um, this is one I was kind of surprised not surprised about anyways. The glass for the classic one one night because the top portion was kind of already breaking apart anyway, so this globe is completely useless now. Um, it was falling apart in a way, the globe was not never in the best shape, it was starting to um, get a bit worn. So it's probably for the best that it broke. I was going to use this for testing purposes to test the one night at Nathan's, but then I was going to discard it afterwards. So now I'm just going to get another glass piece for it, but. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually glad that this is what broke so the other ones because this one needed to be thrown out anyways. There is a tiny portion of like the whip that was chipped like right there for an example. But, um, now that it's actually broken completely, now I have more of a reason to actually get rid of it instead of saving it until I can test it. Okay, so I do have the first one running. It's not wobbling or anything. So I figured I'd um, connect this to see and also use it a bit because I am working in this spotlight below it. But after that, I am going to check the other three to see how they run and if they have any bearing issues or capacitor issues and such. So, um, yep, here's the first one. Second one over here is running pretty well. Doesn't have any issues with it. It's running just fine. So, yeah, there's a good sign with that one. The third one's running well, only on the high speed. The medium and low speed are somewhat slower but i do notice that the motor to it is actually a little bit on a stiff side so i feel like that's definitely affecting its performance but well i feel like it just needs the bearings to break in and it probably it definitely does seem to be the newer the one that's probably the most recent one out of the four that's been made so it could be that as well or it could be the one that's that's the oldest one so maybe the bearings have been sitting around for the past two years and it's such but who knows but it runs well on the high speed, and that's what's important because that's the speed I'm going to be using them on the most, I guess, for the most part. So, um, yeah. The fan number four is running well. Um, I do notice this one is actually the loudest out of four of them. Especially, it does have a little bit more of a hum to it, along with the sound it's making from running off the power inverter and the car battery. 
and it does have a bit of a wobble, but that's mostly because one of the blade screws doesn't want to screw in all the way. The one that kind of holds it down completely, the one that's basically the one that's closest to the motor. So that is kind of causing it to wobble a bit, but it is not hitting the boxes. So yeah, I don't have to worry about that, but it is running well and it's pushing good amount of beer despite having the, those boxes kind of blocking some of the blade clearance and such. But it is pushing it more in the front area, which is kind of what I want more of this one anyways. Instead of the ear kind of being wasting on the top shelving part. But um, yeah, for that being said, all of them run fine. Except for that one does have a bit stiff bearings to it. But um, it doesn't really affect the performance on the high speeds. It's more so on the medium speed and the low speed. But these two here definitely run without any issues except and such. So um. Yeah, let me go ahead and shut off the power for everything. For the fan and the lights. But yeah, I got more power here of lighting and everything. And such, so um, yeah. That'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for more videos to come.